Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Hold on a second. One minute. Hey Ernesto, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. This is the second to last class. Come again. This is the second. To, how do you say pre pre final class? Is there in Spanish we say penultima? How do you say second to last or pre final? Uh, you can say prior to the final. Prior to the final. Uh, well, actually, it's not a class. Um, this is not going to be a class. This is actually this this time is going to be really for the last uh, evaluation. All right. Yeah. So you ready? Yep, I think so. Yes. That's good. Give me just uh. Okay, so uh, this is the final evaluation and in the instruction says to ensure success on what you learn through this module. Please get ready with the presentation as the final evaluation and here mm -hmm. are the steps. So uh, prepare a presentation about how to open a negotiation, making a responding proposal and how to close a negotiation. So basically, the beginning and the middle of the end on negotiation um, stuff. Um, as it was given in destruction, it's like a general topic. You, uh, if you created a presentation re regarding anything, that's that's good because as long as it's about negotiation, that's that's it. And okay. and and it's on, it's it's gonna be only ten minutes. So yeah, ten minutes. But whenever you're in this. In this part of the of the share is too long. I just want to show you. For, for a second, I will go ahead and close okay. the water. 
A ver, no es. Ok. ¿Qué? Okay, thanks. No problem. Okay, um, I want to show you this real quick. So this is the um, evaluation sheet or the rubric. Um, so basically what we, what we evaluate here is the comprehension, fluency, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation. Um, if it was like, very good or if it was excellent we'll give you five points or we give you four three two or one depending um and then right. uh at the at the um at the end of the um course so either monday or tuesday we'll be sharing this with you and i'm going to share that with you as well today um so we can go over the highlights which is basically what you did get you know what are you know, the, these things that you do during the presentation or when you're speaking. The low lights are the areas of opportunity. If there was any grammar mistake or any pronunciation mistake, to me, it doesn't really mean like much. I mean, if you see some words here, pronunciation mistakes or grammar mistakes, it's not a big deal. As long as you know, you're able to keep up a conversation that that's what matters in the end. But we, we, you know, place those down here so you can just for your knowledge, for your info, and you can yep. see them up here. At, at, at the end, there are always areas that you can improve. Right. Um, and then the highlights again, which is, you know, is the same thing. So things that were done get throughout the presentation or throughout the whole course. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to start sharing. And oh. Uh, oh, here's my one. Okay. Yeah. So whenever oh. you're ready, you can share. Oh, okay. So. Um, I always struggle with what's Oh, it's, it's here. If, if I'm not mistaken, you should be able to see now my screen. You're seeing my WhatsApp, right? No, I'm just kidding. I do, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you're you sharing your the... WhatsApp. Yeah, perfect. I Same can see thing. your conversation now. Great, um, perfect. Um... So that's, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> 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 all right perfect so uh did I, I i don't like to put a lot of words and text to the to the presentation so mm -hmm. i i tend to be pretty straightforward uh, so it's going to be just three slides one slide for mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and what i did is i went ahead and i take a look about all the content that you shared with us and all the links and actually, there was a, a link that there was a, a homework for an audio that covered how to open a negotiation. I didn't put all the top of the bullets, but I, I wrote the ones that I think that were more important for me. Um, one by one, it's going to be prepared thoroughly. Um, I record. This is one of the topics or the tips that in the part of uh, uh, writing or doing a speech or opening a negotiation, this is put yourself 
in the future of the negotiation is going to be um, a win victory for you. So prepare thoroughly for, it doesn't matter the, the, the environment of the negotiation, but if you are going to, if you know your party already, it's going to be a win for you. Actually, um, there is a tip whenever you apply to a, to a job, that if you go to the interview, if you can read about the company, if you can read about the, the CEOs, etc., it's going to give you uh, a better look for the other parties. In a uh, applying job scenario, right? Establish report. This recalls me to my uh, TELUS times that is actually put yourself in the other party as well and try to understand the the other party feelings. And this is, I do not want to sound very emotional, but uh, at the end you're dealing with person and with human beings. So if you know how they feel, you can actually adapt yourself and try to know how to manage the conversation and try to get a win-win uh, situation. And Set the agenda, it's going to be, I, I, I said set the agenda in the point three, because at this point, you know how the conversation is going to be. And it's not that, okay, I'm going to talk with Jairo. So, and now the agenda for this conversation is going to be this, is this, this is going to be um, in your mindset, right? So, okay, after we, we reach this point, I can go ahead and actually try to close the deal. Or I can ask for the, for my, my salary rise. I mean, you can, Go formal as one of the links from Harvard that you share that they share with us, or you can do it in your mind. All right. So let's say that we have all this clear in the in the negotiation. Now you can express your intentions. Um, be ready that you can set a point that the other party is not willing to reach or is not liking your 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 intention. Probably you are asking too much. But at this at this point is I mean in certain point uh, later soon you will need to to express what you're trying to 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 reach from this negotiation and in an ideal work the other party at this point is going to accept your your requirements and now we can jump from the point four to the point seven and we can shake your hands and go happy to the home. But that's not going to happen in, in, in the real world. So most likely the other party is going to give you a reason to not reach in your intentions. And here is, it's pretty important that you have active listening and you know what the other party is telling you. Probably they will tell you something with the mouth, but under the lines, under the hood is send, is sending you another message. So you should be pretty smart and be actively listening about what actually they are selling to you. All right. So let's say that now we reach a win-win situation, or as we were talking last week, um, let's agree to disagree. It's also close a deal. So we can summarize and confirm what all this conversation went through and what we're going to, to, to confirm or at the end, what is going to be the ending of the of this conversation slash negotiation. If we're talking about a business or a selling something, or if we're talking with a or direct supervisor, we can ask now how to close the deal. So this is not right and wrong. We, it's also manageable, but it is all the balance that probably we can reach a, 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 some points or we can have a, a, at least an idea how we can manage a negotiation. And actually this is something that I noticed that a lot of blogs of, about business or about how to have a conversation, they share. So if all that knowledge of people share these tips is because they, they know something, right? So, um, all right. Moving forward, responding a proposal. So this is talking about um, uh, probably point between point number four and number five. At this point, probably they reject our intentions or what we were asking at the beginning. Um, so I split this in three objectives. 
the beginning is going to be understand that we can clarify objectives. Um, you should understand and acknowledge what the other party is asking for. And probably they are, they are completely rejecting your intentions and they are putting themselves in a win win in a winning situation and you're going to lose everything. And imagine that you're trying to sell something at the end and they are selling you something and you're buying that deal. That that's not a, a win situation for you. And I imagine in business or in law topics that this point is pretty, pretty important because you need to be pretty smart to read on the lines to because they are going to imagine that this is not for you. They're and I mean they could be your friends, but they cannot be your friends and they will try to to sip you uh, um probably little little lies here. So yeah, you need to understand, clarify what they are trying to get from you. All right. So once you are clear about that, and in the point number two, you will see from your perspective or from your point of view, what are your objectives and see your options. Here is not more than uh, look for a win-win situation. Okay, now that I know what I want and I know what I want, try to uh, find uh, a middle point. Probably you will need to decrease your your objectives or try to adapt to the their needs. But yeah, the, the objective number two is not more than look for a, a middle point. And also um understand that this is not going to be one time exercise. Probably doing this is going to be over and over again. Okay, I, I tell you this, you ask me this, but no I cannot I cannot go too high. So let's go for a middle option. So Doing the, that, that's why I set this in a circle because this is going to be over yeah. and over again until we reach a, a win point. Uh, all right, so let's say that we are in the point that I think that we can get a win win situation to the parties. So we craft a destructive response. Uh, the, the worst that we, that we can do is once we have or clear our options, we are not sell, uh, selling or options as clear as possible. So, uh, okay, we, we want this, but <clears> when <throat> we're saying the response, we are saying another thing. So yeah, not, not miss that part. Okay, this is going to be about a responding proposal. Okay. How to close a negotiation? I didn't want to put a slide with steps because we were seeing steps in, in holo or, <laughs> or the class. Yeah, so uh, we can talk about closing a negotiation, but yeah, what, what I did is also, I searched for some quotes that business persons, this is not a Morgan Maxwell, is not a business person, but it's a, a athlete and influencer now. Uh, I, you know, something that I want to recall here and mention that it, I do not like that positive people that they sell talks and okay you need to be positive and the life is so pink color <laughs> i like more being realistic but yeah i like what that people uh, say realistic quotes that being said that negative quote being said from my side <laughs> all right well, this is a british magnate millionaire that Neither you and me will know how much money this person has. <laughs> but in one interview, he said, listen more than you talk. Uh, nobody learned anything by hearing themselves speak. Uh, if you notice this, it's about active listening. Listen more than you talk. Nobody learning anything by hearing themselves speak. And actually, when I read this, I noticed that I, 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 at least I have heard this in a movie. So a movie copy this quote from his, but he's the the author. Mongrel Maxwell said in another interview, never be afraid of being disliked. If you lie true to yourself, if you live true to yourself, you look forward to reject to rejection. And yeah, and I think I have never asked for something to my boss or to any other party and they tell me at the beginning, okay, yes, you can have it. That's in real world that's that 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 that's more happen. Yeah. Okay. So that only with the quotes and 
back to the topic how to to how to close the the negotiation the the text that and the all the articles that you shared with me and the, with the class basically they split this in different areas that they are pretty close to how to open a negotiation because at the end is um the conclusion about all the steps that we were trying to to attempt in the previous part of the conversation with really chief understand the request uh gather the information um clarify any ambiguities that we can have uh, with the other with the other party and um, what I think about closing the deal is probably in this point of the in this in this first point of the conversation we have a, a, a target we have a goal and now we are here closing the deal so probably this is a good point to 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 understand if we are really trying to reach what we set our goals here because imagine that you're in the point seven and you're losing or mo your money or you are putting your company in a risk position yes probably, probably this is a good point to to reflect to have a reflection and to understand if what you're because remember the other party is also trying to win something you, you don't know probably they have intentions they have or their own intentions they need to win something uh yeah, we, we were talking about okay, let's go ahead and that and search for a win-win situation, but that sounds pretty positive and not too realistic. I think in most of the of the deals and the negotiations, um, that's my that's an opinion and a fact. One party is going to lose lose something. That and and again, that's an opinion and a fact. But I think in one negotiation and one deal, one part is it's ready to lose something. So from what I need to say here in the point, point seven is try to make sure that you're not the, the party that are they are losing something, but you have the feeling that you're the one that you're winning something. Um and also I just want to finish the okay. how to to close the deal um with one part that, that I read. When I was preparing the, the presentation, that uh, probably you would need to be away too much to ask for closing the deal. So not probably you you tend to be uh, probably extending the conversation, but probably in the middle of the conversation you had the opportunity to close the deal. So if you have the feeling, if you're doing good active listen, active listening, you should know when you can ask to close the deal. And you might have different opportunities during the negotiation to close the deal. That being said, that's what I have for the presentation. All right. You did more than 10 minutes. That's good. I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, okay, so um, I, I really liked the whole presentation because it had it like the presentation itself, like the slide, because it had to me the information that you know it's it's needed, and not too much loaded of words and 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 images and stuff. So it was quite it was quite good. Sorry, I was drinking water. <laughs> Yeah, I did not like the presentation that had too much text. No, I liked it. Uh, I, 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 I liked your presentation because it didn't have too many texts on it. The problem with doing that is sometimes I forgot what the what the, the slide is about. <laughs> because Whenever it has <laughs> too less or little info, eh? Yeah, something what what that happened to me. I applied in one in one proposal, and I had to. Somebody forgot the glasses here, so this is how I'm gonna deliver. It. Yep, <laughs> like as a <as> terminator. <laughs> yeah, hasta la, <laughs> hasta la vista. By the way, that 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 movie I I like Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. Oh, it's it's way different, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So as I was saying, 
I like it. Those are those are good quality. This this are not mine. Somebody left them here yesterday. So um um that's that's those are the highlights about this. Now I um I want so let me finish up the um hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm going, I'm gonna share the screen right now. Okay, so this is the score. Um, overall, I, I think it was pretty good. Actually, it was, it was really, really good because the, um, your score was 9.6 um, in the comprehension part, which is basically the how much you understand about the, the, um, the topic. I gave you the five. Mm -hmm. Grammar I gave you a five because I didn't find any grammar mistake. Vocabulary was five. Pronunciation. Well, there was one pronunciation mistake. It's objective. Um, you said objective and it's objective. Objective. All right. Right. Sorry. Good morning. Can I move R101? I would take this time to come with the area training. That's okay. Oh. That sounds good. Good to me. Question. Is it is it uh booked already? Uh, Do you have the, the, the problem that whenever you're uh, talking in English in English in English and someone asks you in Spanish, your mind freaks out. Oh yeah, yeah. it happens. Yeah, join on time yesterday. Things. Yeah, it it, it <laughs> my my boss. For example, when when whenever she writes to me, uh, she pings me on on WhatsApp or whatever platform, and and I'm always responding in English. And um, a couple of a couple of minutes ago as well, somebody was writing to me and and they was thinking in English and I was, it was gonna respond in English as well, and it was like, oh no, shit, I need to switch.
Yeah, the, the, that happened to me actually. But the worst time is was in the call center, in the call center <laughs> time. So I was <laughs> taking calls and then I was lunch yeah. break and I was thinking. Yeah, it does. It does happen. Okay. Um. So I was saying, and then now the low light. Uh, the low lights. Um, it's flat tone. So the flat tone or the pitch. Do you know what is the pitch when we're speaking? I I was trying to. I was about to ask you what what does it mean. Yeah. Okay. So the pitch, in uh, in our intonation and conversation, whenever we are speaking, is that um that tone that we give to certain words when we are talking so we have articulation which is like if you say hello you don't say hello you say hello like like your tone your tongue and your lips and in in your mouth you you mouth you you move it you know you open it you close it so you do that movement so you can okay that work can come out well so that's articulation mm -hmm. and then intonation will be like like you're sometimes you're talking like this and then pitch is when you uh do a higher pitch or intonation to a certain word within a sentence so okay. if it is flat flat normally means that we're talking like like the same tone of voice all the time sometimes it might be might be boring to someone Sometimes it might not. Sometimes people might, um, you know, get distracted real quick because we're not getting their attention all the time. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna share with you this link, which which is a video that speaks about. Because I'm just giving you like. Team City will help you to get started with continuous integration of, for free. Uh, Every big thing starts small, but today's small is different have, from yesterday. I'm not hearing you. I really yeah. like this shirt. Yeah, I, I, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm just giving you a higher, like a very high level explanation of this. But um, this lady here, I'm, I'm giving you this link so you can listen to this, take a watch of this video, and, and she explains it more in detail. I'm just going to play the first part of the video so you can see what I'm talking about. On the left, we have the flat intonation and then on the right, that should be the right intonation. Okay. I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying that you will be like, hi, good morning. <laughs> no, the, the, that's <laughs> that's too much. I want you to look at her and the way she does it is absolutely the way it should be. So here we go. I really like this shirt but I don't think I'm gonna get it I really like this shirt but I don't think I'm gonna get it hey guys it's Hadar okay I'm gonna play it again so the left is the way that we should not do and the right is the way that we should, should do it All I right. really like this shirt but I don't think I'm gonna get it I really like this shirt but I don't think I'm gonna get it hey guys I'm gonna do it one last time didn't notice any different <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but there is a difference, okay? Uh, but it's okay. okay. Here we go again. I really like this shirt, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I really like this shirt, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Hey, guys, it's Hadar. And okay, I'm going to give you another example. This one is more... A simple song. Happy birthday. I'm sure you can do that. To practice that, let's start with a song. Now, don't when you stress a word. But before that, let's understand how you even control your pitch. Because, of course, it's easy to say raise your pitch when you need to stress a word, but how do you even do that? To practice that, let's start with a song. Now, don't tell me I can't sing, I'm not musical, a simple song. Happy birthday, I'm sure you can sing it. So, listen up or sing along. Happy birthday to you. Just that. Do it again with me. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you. Every word had a different note. 
Happy burr. When I went to burr, I raised my pitch. I went for a higher note. Happy birthday. Went back to a lower note. To. So technically, this is a more stressed word because it's higher in pitch. To you. And then went back down. Okay? Happy birthday to you. Now I'm speaking, not singing, but I'm still raising my pitch according to the notes that I know. Okay. All right. No, now, no, no, now I get it a little more. Okay. Now, now I get it a little bit more. That's nice. Um, and it, and this is just like a chunk of a video, but it's uh seven. It's almost an eight minutes video that you can watch at your own pace and 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 understand the importance of the pitch of the intonation of the not to have a monotonous voice when we're talking. Okay. Uh, you can watch it later on your own pace. And uh, this is really important because that's how, and, and that's the same in Spanish. Some of my friends, well, I have, a, I have well, it's not my friend anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but, but it's because it was not, it was not really my friend ever. It's just that uh, we had a friend in common and that was, no, I had a friend and that friend, had this friend that it would for me it was just a, a non person you know i just just to see that person but it was not my friend really oh, okay anyway this this person talks like very in a very low tone so he he's always like in spanish he's like mm, no, that, 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 that people uh, he puts me in the depression mode uh, yeah and and he's audios in whatsapp people would put it in 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 two speed so they can listen to whatever okay so uh he he mm -hmm. usually speaks flat and then low so um and then i have another friend or other friends who are like not excited like very ex extremely excited but their their pitch when they're talking is like different and then you know, and they smile, so you want to listen to them every time they talk. So this is this this works the same in um, in English, especially that in English, normally in Spanish we have like all of our vocabulary is like the same, but we do pitch or intonation because we want to emphasize on stuff. Mm -hmm. But in English, we have a lot of words that need a lot of intonation and it's trust so that's why when we speak english we're supposed to say uh words with more intonation and word and more stressed on certain pronunciation uh, for example if you say the word uh, uh, uh beach we're talking about the beach where you, you know when you go every summer or every time you can or on the weekend or whenever you can so you go to the beach and have some fun, but then we have the other word mm -hmm. that I'm not gonna say, but it's bet. <laughs> yeah, the other word. And then so that's a short, uh, that's a, a more shorter. It's a shorter sound. So that's mm -hmm. why we need to exaggerate the words and articulation, intonation, pitch, whatever in English, so we can make them, um, you know stressed properly and and so people can understand we also have we say oh let's get a, a sheet so this this one is a sheet you know a mm. sheet of paper or i can rip it off right or i can just say this is a sheet but then if i do the shorter sound it's gonna be something going else. to be another thing <laughs> yeah so so that's why it's important for you to uh, make emphasis on 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 all of this pronunciation and stress and stuff, especially in English because uh, there are a lot of words that are very similar and and if you mispronounce them, what do I mean by mispronounce? I mean that there was no stress, no intonation, um, no pitch, and so all of this. So that's why it's important. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay. So overall, it was it was really good. 
actually you got a 9.6 score. That, that's, I really like the whole information that you presented to me. Awesome, thanks. Thank you. I was happy because I was I, I was gonna say okay, so you may jump off because we have nobody else in the meeting. But, but <laughs> thank you, Carlos. <laughs> Ernesto, but if you want to jump off, <laughs> you can go and take your break. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. So I, I understood that today and tomorrow is the final evaluation. Is that correct? Yeah, you can do it either today or tomorrow, whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, uh, do you recall? Do you recall what was? The... <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to search for it right okay, now. So you need to you need to prepare a um a presentation. I'm gonna I need... I'm gonna share it with you. Yes. You okay. Need to... So I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's jump off then. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the... Oh, here it is. I'll share the link with you. I think I granted you access. On Thursdays, I, I usually have a meeting at 9 which is from with my boss in Canada. It's a lady. Her, na her name is Danielle. She's the best boss I ever had in my beep life. <laughs> um, but I but I liked it because sometimes I it is very frequent. She always says, "You know what? Uh, I'm gonna cancel this meeting. We'll we'll meet." The next week, and 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 right now, you she just wrote to me and say, "Hey, is it okay if we move our one on one meeting to the next week?" And I, I'm like, "Of course, <laughs> that's an hour. That's an hour that I can, you know, work on something else." Okay, so there we go. Um, I I don't I didn't have access, so I have requested it. Oh, okay. And um, did you okay? Here it comes. I was I I I was just wondering. Uh, okay, okay. The the final evaluation. The the okay. I I have it here. Um, the speaking test. I have it here. Presentation, how to open negotiation, how to make making a, a responding proposal, how to close. Okay, good. The presentation and speaking time has to be at least 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, good. So we can have it tomorrow if you would like. Once you grant me the access, I can share you also the presentation. Um, I think I did did already. Um, I mean, uh, oh, there you go. I gave you access of comentarista. <laughs> okay. Good. Oof, I love Thursdays. You know what? Because to me, it's like the last day of the week. Because it's, it's it's almost Friday. Yeah. yeah now um, on Thursdays, you, you can get drunk. <laughs> Oh, because uh... <laughs> you will suffer one day. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I, um, uh, I usually. Yesterday, I had. Um, I, I don't. I really don't like to have cash on my wallet because uh, I normally tend to spend, you know, 
not a lot of money because I'm not rich, but uh, but yesterday I have a certain amount of cash here for the rest of the of the week. Well, not the week of the um of the quincena. <laughs> so wow, it's 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 we're gonna get paid until the end of the next week. So yeah, that's why I'm taking care of my money now. Anyways, yesterday I I had uh, some cash in my pocket, and then I in 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 these past days I've been like you know trying to save up some money and not to spend and taking care of the things that I buy because I don't want to spend much. And but yesterday I ha I put some cash here in my wallet and and went out when in the morning went to the gym later I went to the market and then later I went elsewhere, and then in the evening I. I didn't spend much money during the day, but then in the evening I went to the mall with my handsome boy, and um, and then uh, I took him to a playground, and then he was like, "Oh, I want to get some donuts," and I was like, "Okay, let's go get some donuts." Of course, I was not gonna do the queue outside Mr. Donuts, so I said, mm, "Let's get a, let's go to the gas station, and and they sell donuts there." I didn't buy them. I I didn't buy the donuts for him. So I I was like, oh, let's get some food because we we were in the food court and and I was hungry. He was hungry. So and then in the end, I spent forty dollars, <laughs> 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 and I was like, wow. That's why I don't like to have my credit card nor cash in my pocket. Yeah, it, it happens. It happens pretty often. And, and that's one of the psychological reasons behind a credit card. Um, and, and these are the, the things that, that people cannot control. Yeah. And it has happened to me. Like, I, I remember when I was a, a young person, I was like 23 years old. They gave Come me. Come on, credit. Carlos, you're still young. <laughs> yeah, I, I am still young. <laughs> <laughs> you mean younger then? <laughs> I, I, yeah, way younger. And and I remember I got in in financial troubles and uh, because of the credit oh, card, yeah. it took me several years to get out of the troubles I got into because of the credit cards. If if you give a, a credit card with a one thousand dollars limit to Oof. a stupid boy of uh, twenty years old who lives with his his parents and and that does not have any type of knowledge in in. In financial, financial yeah stuff it, it will get in troubles and and that's exactly what happened to me and 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 i i would recommend deeply to like to have the the budget very like um mapped mm -hmm. and, and just to, to stick to the budget and 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 to try to do it i i agree i i went through this <laughs> <laughs> I went through the same when I was younger and got my first credit card. I went crazy. <laughs> and then there's a tear coming down here. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm I'm really sorry that right now you you won't be able to. Oh no! I I will I will go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I so just, basically, I, you you're telling us that you live in Santa Ana, right? You live like in the da Santa Ana downtown, or like in the surroundings. Wait, you're you're a mute. Check in a mute. Uh, the downtown. Yeah, okay. all the bars are like really like five minutes. There's a really nice bar here, like like three four blocks from here, which is my you know, my nearest and best bar, and then there are a lot of bars here. <laughs> so it's but the bars fall to be close to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so I, I I'm saying that I don't I, I don't want to spend much money on on things, food and stuff like that. But um I think beers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's an it's an investment. It's an investment. It's an investment. Abs investment. Absolutely. Yeah. You know why? Do you know why? Do you know why I consider it uh, as an investment? Is because and this is for real. This is for real, because throughout the whole week I work hard uh, from seven a.m. to four or five p.m. I work and then I have like two hours rest, 
and then from six to eight thirty, I continue working because I I am um, I am a professor at UCA as well. So I, I finish my work at eight thirty, and then so you had three jobs. Yep. And at night you're Uber. Not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, in at night I work at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. Of course, I'm doing that eventually because the you know I'm gonna burn out real quick if I continue doing so. But um, so yeah, I I, I wouldn't be able to have three jobs. Yeah. I, I had two jobs like uh, in two thousand and eight. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I got in troubles because of the credit cards, I had two jobs. <laughs> but um, why do I, you think I'm working three jobs now? <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I just, I just couldn't at this time of, I, I this time of my life, I just couldn't. You know why I, I, I do it? Uh -huh. it's, it's because um, right now it's just one hour, and uh, and to me, just sit there and talk. I think it's uh, it's something that I love. So I really uh -huh. love, and yeah. And then at night I do the same. It's from six to eight thirty, and then I just sit down, chill, talk, and uh, and and I and I and I like it. Even though, though I don't feel it's stressful, but I mean, still in the end, well, I I, I wake up like five in the morning because I go to the gym first before, before I start my classes. I go to the gym because if I go later or in the evening, then that 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 thing is full of people, and I don't like those places being full. So, and I I really like going out with my friends and get some beers not get wasted get wasted is like pfft, you know but I, I really like to get drunk sometimes well every weekend <laughs> but uh because <laughs> <laughs> but because i can share time with my friends and speak about whatever and yeah yeah um i mean but that's my my thing right now is my hobby. I mean, I wouldn't call that a hobby, of course, but that's my thing right now. Of course, I do some other stuff like go to the cinema, I go to the, oh, I love the beach. Uh, oh, normally on the weekends, like every every other weekend, I go to the beach. I'm a, I'm a beach lover. Yeah, me too. I love the beach. I think lately, Lately, I've been focusing a lot on myself, um, you know, working my mental health, working my physical health, working a lot of stuff in my in my life that I have even let people go, um, so I can con you know, so I can keep it up with my stuff. So I uh, I think um yeah. But um um on things that are uh food or other because I usually tend to buy stuff like if I go to I you know to a mall I usually you know buy a new uh pair of jeans a new shirt or you know and sometimes in the end I'm like oh my. the other day for example I went to Dollar City I wanted to buy I don't remember but but it was a three dollars fan. That I wanted to buy, I I went there, and then my kid was with me, and he was like, "Oh, I need this toy, I need this other toy," and he was like putting a lot of stuff on the cart, and and then I was like, "I I just came here for this three dollars thing, and I don't want to spend much money." But anyways, in the end, I spent forty seven dollars. <laughs> That's a lot. That's almost the. The budget I have for supermarket on a fifteen day basis. Yeah, oh, oh, fifty dollars. Yeah, that's that's not much, and I mean for for if you if I go to the supermarket, I mean that's why I don't go to the supermarket. I go to the market instead because with fifty dollars, you don't do that much. We don't no, do that's... much. Yeah. So how come how come those fifty dollars are enough? Because it remember it's just to my like to myself, right? It's 
okay. I don't buy that, that many those that like too many things because these things get damaged or you live on you your know, own yeah okay yeah I, I i actually my fridge if you if you ever come and open it up and it's it's, it's empty <laughs> my my mom <laughs> My mom came to my house um a couple of weeks ago and she was um I wanna cook something for you so you can eat well and she opened it up and there was nothing but beers. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Aquí no hay nada para cocinar, pero cerveza sí. <laughs> and she was pissed because she doesn't like me to drink. That's true, but now that you're there, oh, give me one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah let's toast <laughs> all right but that's why i like thursdays because absolutely that's my last day of work for the week um i mean in terms of meetings and stuff because in in in, in the company that, that i work for normally we don't have meetings on fridays Fridays is more to work on on our stuff, like you know, whatever we need to do. But but meetings, no, we normally don't. So that's nice. That's why I like Thursdays. Hey guys, it's eight. I want to thank you for joining. I know it, it was a very long class, right, Carlos? But yes, um, it was. I hope. <laughs> I really hope you have a great Thursday, okay? Thank okay. you, guys. Stay safe. Bye, guys. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.